The industrial plankton PBR100 and 1250 are great for growing algae in a biosecure way, but the algae in the PBR is only as clean as the algae you put into it. In this video, we will demonstrate some of the basic principles of sterile technique. We'll be showing you how to transfer algae to a new 250 milliliter flask, but the principles are the same whether you are working with 50 milliliter tubes, 20 liter carboys, or the 1250 liter PBR. To transfer your algae, you will need an empty workspace, sterile culture media, your parent culture, a sterile empty flask, alcohol spray, a flame source, paper towel, gloves, labels in the pen, and a lighter. Lab coat and gloves are optional for this procedure. However, one of the sources of contamination for algae cultures is you. To minimize the chance of contaminating your cultures, put on a clean lab coat, pull your hair back, and put on a clean pair of gloves. Next, we will prepare our workspace. Ideally, cultures should be transferred in a laminar flow hood, transfer cabinet, or clean room to minimize contamination from the surrounding environment. If none of these options are available, do your best by choosing a bench away from foot traffic and air flow, and then cleaning it. First, we'll use the paper towel and alcohol spray to clean our empty workbench and wipe it down. Wipe the bench from back to front so you can clean the areas you were leaning over. You aren't trying to dry the alcohol, but you want to spread it out so that the entire surface is cleaned. Once your workspace is clean, use the alcohol spray to sterilize your hands and wipe down the outside of your sterile culture media, sterile empty flask, and your parent culture with a paper towel sprayed with alcohol. Next, light your flame source, but first, be sure you keep any fire sources away from your alcohol and make sure to wait until all of the alcohol has evaporated prior to putting hands near an open flame. The flame creates a sterile air field, which is why we transfer around it. Remember to re-sterilize your hands, gloved or not, with alcohol after touching any non-sterile surface before proceeding. Next, we're going to add sterile media to our new flask. We're using F2 here. If you have sterilized your media inside your new flask, you have already done this step. Start by loosening the cap on your media bottle, and next, remove the cap and stopper from your flask. Once removed, flame the opening. You want to place the flask close to the flame and be careful not to move anything above its open mouth. Set the flask down and then open the media bottle. Before we pour the media into the flask, we want to flame the opening of our media bottle as well. Pour media from the bottle into the new flask without touching the media bottle to the flask. Don't worry if you spill, it is better to lose some media than risk contaminating the whole bottle. Make sure that you do not overfill the flask as it will be hard to flame the mouth later. As soon as you are finished, flame the mouth of the media bottle again, cap it, and set it aside. Now your new flask is ready to be inoculated. Next, we will get our parent culture. Take your parent culture, remove the cap and stopper, and then flame the opening. It is important to avoid touching the stoppers to any surfaces so that they remain clean. Then. Pour a small amount into the new flask without touching. Next, reflame the openings of both flasks, replace the caps and stoppers, and return them to your culture chamber. Now, we will label our new culture vessel. If you are transferring more than one species at a time, it is especially important to label your flasks before any transfers take place. Labels should include the species name and strain number, the type of media, the date, and your initials. Now you have an introduction to the basic sterile transfer of algae cultures. Remember that proper cleaning and sterilization of equipment, minimizing sources of contamination, and minimizing the time sterile containers are open goes a long way towards growing clean algae.